Hi guys, this is Crafty Kim here. I just wanted to come on and actually put a face to the name. Um, I'm excited about this challenge that uh, Yami, the Latina next door, and Nicole, the Week's Nest, is putting on. Um, and I can't wait to show everyone. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. So my looks for less item are these candlesticks I found on Wayfair for $109.99. They are metal, but we're gonna do the best we can with Dollar Tree items to make them look very similar. The first item you'll need are these three different size votive holders that you can find at Dollar Tree. These boxes that you can find at Dollar Tree, um, I haven't been able to find them at all of them, and some votives um, to use for the candles. I just ended up using regular candles. I'm gonna use the color ink and also some antique wax. You're also going to need some E6000 and your glue gun. And last is a jumbo craft stick to fill in the holes of the boxes we'll be using. Okay, so to get started, we're just gonna remove the plastic wrap from all the boxes and I'm gonna use the inside portion of the box and save the outside for another project. I'm gonna use the jumbo craft sticks to put on the inside to help um, conceal that hole. Uh, I wanna try to camouflage that so that you don't see it once we paint the stands in the color ink. So you can see I covered the hole and now I'm just taking my glue gun and I'm going to fill it in with a bunch of the hot glue. You can certainly use wood filler if you have it. Um, I don't know if my husband has some. I didn't feel like looking for it so I just figured this would be the next best thing. So while we're waiting for the hot glue to dry, I'm just gonna take my candlesticks and paint them with the color ink. And this does end up taking two coats. Now that the hot glue is dry, I'm just taking some sandpaper I have and kind of filing down the edges to make it flush with the wood so that when I paint it, it's not as noticeable. And now I'm just painting all three boxes in the color ink and this actually only took one coat. So now with the antique wax, I'm just putting a thin layer over each side of the box and then taking a rag and wiping it off. This will help protect it, but also kind of gives it an antique metal look. Once everything was dry, I went around with some more antique wax just on the edges and corners of each box and it kind of gave it a little bit more of a rusty feel. So as you see here, I'm doing the same thing with the antique wax on all the candlesticks, just applying a thin layer. And then instead of wiping the antique wax off, I realized that dabbing does do a lot better. It, try, it tends to not take the black paint off as much.
So now I'm just adding some E6000 to my candlesticks and a little bit of hot glue to help adhere it to the boxes. And here they are all finished. I'm super proud of how these turned out. They're not as nice as the ones that you can get for $109.99, but for under $10, not too shabby. I ended up using some different candles to show you some different options. And at the end, I also added some rope from the nautical rope from Dollar Tree, just unwinding it and using one part of the rope to add to the base of the candlestick where it meets the box and it fits my decor a little bit better that way. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and can't wait to see if you create your own candlesticks. Thanks and have a great day.